Are you ready to push After Effects to its limits and create beautiful cinematic 3D? With just simple shapes, we'll be able to craft breathtaking visuals to make works of art. Just easy tricks and pure creativity. Let's get started. All right, the goal of this video is to give you the tools that you need to create your own cinematic masterpieces, which should be some delicious eye candy for the portfolio. All right, the first thing I suggest doing is to start with a very dark background, but start with the ellipse tool to create a circle and make it a stroke with no fill, uh, but also make sure the shape is absolutely centered and the anchor point is centered as well. Very important for 3D. For this example, I'm gonna be using a stroke width of 25. And let's go ahead and stylize this right away by clicking the plus icon next to dashes twice. Then you can increase the dash and the gap amount until you get the illusion of multiple lines. And pro tip, you can set the cap to a round cap or no cap, as they say today. <laughs> if you like, you can add the trim path property and animate the start or end to reveal this on. So with a shape of your choice out of the way, make the layer 3D and for a constant theme within my videos, make sure your renderer is set to advanced 3D. This will allow us to increase the extrusion depth to say 70 because I don't want this to be too thick. And we can also set the bevel style to convex and the bevel depth to six, and this will help smooth out the edges. To angle this a touch better, you can go ahead and create a camera and then use the orbit tool here at the top to angle this the way that you see fit. And to build this out even more, duplicate the ring, scale it down by lowering the ellipse path, and then we can create up to say three duplicates. But you may want to adjust the dash and gap within each ring as they get smaller to you know, make it perfect. To animate this, I would all click the stopwatch for Z rotation and type time asterisk 20. Then you go ahead and copy and paste this expression to the other layers, but throw in a negative 20 to vary the direction of the final animation. Okay, so we talked about setting up a design, but now let's focus on making this look cinematic. It all stems from material options, lighting, and some creative effects. So real quick, create an environment light with shadows enabled. Uh, we also don't want our shapes to be pure white, so make them a light gray. And in the material options of a layer, you can go ahead and set the specular shininess to around 15%. And then from here, you can copy and paste the material options to your other layers fairly quickly. Now, contrast is so important. For example, we can make one of our layers dark gray, then set its specular shininess to 100% and the metal to 0%. And that's already a world of difference. And to further the contrast, you can adjust the light's rotation so that the side of the object that's facing us is mostly in shadow. With the final examples, you'll see how this makes a big difference as well. All right, we're so close to making this look truly epic. But first, if you're looking the master 3D in After Effects, I've made a full course on the topic of 3D and to help you enhance your work, you can animate entire projects with just a few clicks with our presets. Just select your layers, apply a preset and watch your animations come to life in no time. So be sure to get my free 200 templates and save time by checking out all of our 40,000 plus templates in the description below. Back in this, if you wish to expand on the design, we can quickly create a circle with everything centered up, including the anchor point make it 3D and set its size down to exactly two. They make the bevel depth 100 and the style to convex. And boom, we have a sphere, but feel free to increase the scale and reposition it as needed. You can also copy and paste the existing material options, but for the sphere, let's go ahead and set the shininess to around 75 and the metal back to 100% for a reflective look. And feel free to animate the position to have it drop into the scene and beautiful. We can also create a null object and parent our 3D objects to it. Make the null 3D, of course. Then you can use the rotation values of the null to angle this design however we like. Now it's actually beautiful, but let's put our finishing touches on our cinematic project. So create an adjustment layer and feel free to apply the following effects. The tint effect to make this purely black and white, but this is optional. The noise effect, which will set to 6% and uncheck color noise. The curves effect in which we'll slide this bottom point over to the right by a touch to increase the contrast of the scene. Now, let's apply the glorious and beautiful glow effect. Set the glow threshold to 100% and the glow radius to around 600 or so. And duplicate the effect and set it to 1000 to give us a soft glow. Lastly, I would try the posterize effect and set it to around 14-ish. But feel free to dial these effects however you need. Uh, and I don't know about you, but as the kids say these days, this looks very demure. 
But to maximize the quality of your render and shadows, be sure to update your renderer settings before exporting. And also keep in mind, without the tint effect, you may try changing the color of any of your objects as well. It doesn't have to be black and white, but that's just my aesthetic. Uh, with these techniques, you should be able to create a whole host of unique designs. For example, in this composition, we're just using squares with stroke enabled. And in the third example, this is just a 3D rectangle. So let your creativity guide you to create something epic. Subscribe to be the best and always be creative.